Hello, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to uh, start my first ever uh, banter. Uh, before I start playing, I'd uh, like to recommend everyone to uh, purchase the premium account on Chess24 because then you have the possibility to play against the, uh, the best players in the world, including Magnus Carlsen and others and others. So, so yeah. And now I'll uh, play against somebody. Uh, got so many challenges that it's hard to, <laughs> to choose from. Okay, let's play with some increment. I mean, uh, some game with increments uh, first. I don't know if I, okay. Okay, let's play. Okay, so my opponent is S. Jure. I don't know how to uh, pronounce it correctly. I think the game is about to start in a moment. Yeah, obviously. Okay, so apparently, apparently I'm playing some uh, Polish dude. D45, C46. Mm. Oh, H5, that was sort of unexpected. Okay, let's play uh, kid with the extra tempos. But now it looks like more uh, like the close Sicilian. Obviously when I play E4, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, E3, maybe B4 at some moment is the idea. Yeah, H4. What about taking on H4? Actually, I'm not sure G5, need a three. It looks like I'm a uh, safe pawn up, but maybe after knight H4, there is also queen C8. Yeah, queen C8 is unpleasant, so I think I have to play G4. Obviously, at the moment, the position looks like uh, from the Patsers game because it's like very random. But soon I think I uh, will get good play with before, thanks to before. Okay, knight g4. It's obviously always a follow up. But I don't see anything concrete, and when it's not working, I'm basically just winning. Two, what about taking? Yeah, I expect d5, but after d5, I can just play f4, knight d3. Okay, I will play this f4 so that there are no threats anymore. Okay, d3. Yeah, my king is a bit naked, but still, I think that it's not worth uh, giving the whole piece for this. Okay, where to go? Maybe on. Okay, maybe on g5. Yeah, any exchange makes it. Uh, more easy for me to win this game. So basically trying to exchange everything. Mm. 
Yeah, obviously f6 is the move to be expected here. I think I will just go bishop g2 and then after taking on g5, knight takes g5. It looks safe, safe, safe enough for me. Obviously, I'm not forced to take on g5. I can always use his pawn as a shelter for my king. Okay, knight f5. I guess he wants to go on g3. I will play bishop g2. Okay, d5 with an obvious idea of d4. So I'm blocking it. Okay, I will take on d5 because knight is always an annoying piece in such cases. So I believe it makes sense to reduce uh, the offensive potential of my opponent's pieces. Four takes. Okay, after queen e3, there is knight g5. I hadn't seen this in advance, so that's a kind of problem. Okay, I will go queen e3, queen e5, I guess. Don't see a refutation of this. That actually might be so. Okay, I managed to win on time this game. Certainly not easy, Vol. <laughs> okay, let's play Ahmed 2000. It's 3 plus 0, so I need to play a bit faster. The Indian, maybe no. Okay, I'll go p6. Yeah, bishop g5 is obviously the move, but it's not very popular, I think. Now it's look like now it's uh, a direct tram transposition to the running ground variation. The name is the Indian. I uh, will include taking on c3 so that his pawn structure is not that good. Okay, bishop d3, d6. Yeah, he wants, I guess he wants me to tag on a free, but yeah, I think I will pass this possibility. And five. Okay, e4. Okay, when there is no e5 coming, I think e4 is so risky, uh, risky strategically because his bishop might be stuck. Okay, now he may want to go e5, but still I'm not sure if it's working. I guess it's not. Obviously I want to play e5, but I think I I will uh, not play not play it as long as possible because I want to stay flexible. But now f4 is the idea, so e5 is 
uh, play it in a proper timing. Okay, let it be free. I think I will play rook e7, rook a8. Okay, d5 is uh, not a great move strategically, obviously. But I guess he just wants to uh, play g3, f4. No matter what I play, so yeah, knight f8, knight g6 maybe, or maybe even knight f7, and some knight g5 jumps. g3, rook, a8. It's all prophylactics against f4. Okay, I think I will play bishop c8. I even didn't see knight takes a5 trap, but still it's like, you don't wanna, you want, uh, you want to uh, have your bishop on the better square than b7, obviously. Yeah, now I wonder what to do. Okay, let's play g6 and queen g7. I'm going to play f5 myself. Yeah, but now it's a bit more tricky to achieve, so I will play rook f8 next. C5. C5 is always a move you want to play, but usually it's not working for some reason. Now it's, I think, quite reasonable to try. Okay, bishop c8 looks very natural. Maybe there's something better. Maybe I will go queen f8 so that. So I want to play f5 and rook takes c7 is met by bishop g4 or even bishop b5. I think okay, queen a6 is a mistake because of bishop c8. Queen b5, c6 is not working at all. Okay, rook b8. Okay, we'll play ugly rook, rook a8. I don't think it's that great, but at least I'm not sacrificing uh, the pawn on a5. Okay. Every exchange makes my position uh, more winnable. King g7. Rook a7, so that there is no bishop c6 with tempo. We need b8, maybe. Okay, f5 takes takes f4, I believe. Oh. Okay, now it's knight seven back. Okay, now I wonder. Okay, I will play g5 and h5. Okay, there are no uh, threats whatsoever, so I'm clearly winning. g4, rook f3 is the idea. G3. Have enough time to win this game comfortable in a comfortable way. So let's see what challenges I got. Oh, serious opponents. Everyone is serious. Play. La Edry, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, I have six, they're all like in defense. Let's try. Five, maybe five. Oh, I have three. That's an easy pawn for me. Yeah, good. Bishop as well. 
So it feels like I'm about to win smoothly. Although it's never the, uh, the end and until it's the end. So you need to be focused all the time. Basically, so that's the pawn, so I'll grab it. Obviously, d4 is the move here. I think I will just go b6 and bishop b7. I mean, haven't yet, yet decided wh whether to go for uh, short castle or long castle. Yeah, d4, b6. Yeah, it's obviously not enough uh, for him, but still he may generate some 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 threats for me. Okay, four. Okay, I will play to six. But I need to be careful because there might be. Ah, oh, no, let's see four. It's... No, I forgot that rook f3 is not a threat because I can just take the rook. Yeah, I was worried about knight c4, rook f3. Okay, knight g4 doesn't look good at all. Knight c6. After d5, I will play queen d4 shot, I believe. Although everything is good, obviously. Queen c5 check or just it takes d5. Okay, now I got part, uh, the third pawn. Yeah, he provokes me to take on f4, but I think I won't take this pawn. Pro g6. It's obviously winning. Okay, I think c2, I need to free. C7. I will just grab the exchange. It's the simplest. Yeah, I wanted to allow him to take on B7 and then make a long castle with the intention of gaining the rule, but it's, it was obviously not working so. I had to choose less spectacular way to convert it. Maybe five a six is is that for him? But this is even worse. Okay, so I managed to win this game as well. Let's see. Okay, Ben. Ben Jacob, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He will play d6, whatever move uh, he chooses. Now c5, it's a funny transposition to the Sicilian. Neither. Oh. Apparently, it seems he knows his stuff. B7. B7, H6. Montessor, I believe, H6. Yeah, Bishop H4, Queen C7. Obviously, I uh, haven't, played, haven't played it in a while, so I can't really recall any variation. Yeah, but the Bishop F6, it's, it looks premature to me. Okay, we'll take a bishop. After g4, there is idea of g5 to gain the dark squares. Uh, the dark squares. 
does not have the e5, obviously. And I will play g5. Uh, now black must be better in this position. It's such a nice uh, control. Okay, bishop d7 maybe. To calmly develop. Now the problem for him is also that it's not easy to to play, like what to do next with white. It must be alert to go because after queen b6, there might be the idea of f takes e6, f takes e6, and then knight f5. It takes, e takes, e takes f5 and knight d5. I don't know, I still have queen d8 in the end of this variation, but I will just play with c8. I think I can safely make a short castle as well. But now the idea might be obviously to take on c3. Look, take c3 looks very tempting to me, and I think I. Yeah, and now it's there's a question what to do. Maybe b5. B5 looks cool. So that's uh, I'll have knight c4. But maybe it's not necessary yet because hmm. okay, maybe I'll castle first. After knight b3, there is obviously bishop b5, and otherwise I just want to uh, just want to play uh, queen a5. Obviously, the point is that my position is very flexible and I can even play knight g6, knight f4. After, let's say, he tries to double the rook on the f file. Yeah. Obviously, after the g6, and f4, he has queen c4, queen b3. So, and I don't really want to allow this. So, I calculating queen a5, so line rook df1, uh, queen takes c3, rook f6, queen a1, check, queen takes d4. Yeah, you see, I can get the exchange back, but I'm not, I'm not sure how big my advantage is actually. So, yeah, we will see in a moment. Okay, we'll take f6, what is the idea? Okay, he wants to exchange everything. Okay, I will just, I think it will just take, because after queen f1, queen c3, there is, after queen f6, there is no perpetual. So, I mean, there is even no threat of perpetual. Obviously, after queen f6, I have knight d3, with checkmate to follow. Okay, so that was a, quite a nice win. Okay, let's play to fight Arena GM. I wonder if I will play, uh, if I play some some games with white as well. Okay, now go, let's go e5, e3, e6. It's not, okay, c3, um, e6. Oh, we should defer. That's a freestyle, definitely. I wonder. I wonder what's wrong with e4 here. Queen e2, bishop e6. Looks bad for him. Maybe bishop b3, but then I can just go queen f5. 
Okay, this must be very bad for him. The four is just losing, I think, the fours. Yeah, it's game over by this point. Okay, let's play. Maybe knight e4, but knight e4 should be free. Knight uh, f4. Okay, queen d2. All right, let's play for fun this move. Obviously, taking on the h1 was winning very much, like any other sensible moves. Queen D2, maybe need a free check. It's, yeah, it's, it looks like checkmate. Okay, so the nice win. Nice choice of the opening. Okay, chess master 0 of 6 and 15. We'll go for uh, it, but now, now I will think about this. Now c5, okay, c5, d5, I will just play g6. That is obviously queen b6 line, uh, knight c3, queen takes b2, bishop d2, and so white seems to get very good compensation for the missing pawn, but this is some, uh, some strange version of of the kid of the uh, Schmidt, Schmidt defense, perhaps. I mean, I'm not sure what's the name of the opening is, but okay, we'll go bishop g4. Yeah, knight d2 is, I think, a good move here. But obviously, there is nothing wrong with, uh, with the castle, so yeah, knight d2. Let's take it's plan ID six. Well, my plan is obviously to play like knight c7, then try to get to p5. But the thing is, which move order is the best to achieve this? Because I have to watch out for uh, some e5 moves as well. And knight c7 has a, a drawback of giving up any knight before. <laughs> opportunities and jumps. Okay, it's free. I think it will go b6. Because after the a6, there is obviously a5. And if I have the idea of knight b5, then maybe it makes some sense. But I can't really make knight b5 work, so working. So, so yeah, okay, a6. Yeah, after b5, he has obviously an idea 5 and it's kind of unpleasant move because uh, there is a very direct threat of direct threat of knight c6. So I, I think I won't play uh, b5 for for some time to come. Yeah, rook fd1 looks like the move here. Yeah, he wants to play e5, obviously. And after knight d7, he still can play e5. <clears throat> yeah, so it looks like I am a bit worse here. Okay, I think knight d7 is obviously a sensible move because um, Yeah, now I wonder what to do because, okay, taking on c3 doesn't look that good at all. Maybe I will just play rook 8 I guess he wants, I don't know. I thought that he was going to play f4. Okay, 
Okay, I will take everything and play queen d6. Yeah, his pawn on d5 might be actually kind of weak, so now b5 is obviously the idea because before is not so pleasant to meet, I believe. So b4, maybe b5. Yeah, I have also e6. Yeah, many moves to uh, choose from. Yeah, I will go e6, queen f4, bow. Okay, knight b5, let's remove this rook. Six, ninety six. <laughs> Looks like the idea. Queen f4, queen b2. Queen e3 is better. Okay, rook b8, rook b8. Okay, rook b8 maybe. C4 takes. Queen c3. Okay, let's put rook b8. Yeah, it's a bit worse for him, but. Nothing serious. Ninety-four. What is this? Twenty-three. Maybe it's not that great for me, actually. Okay, let's see three. Okay, rook d three. Maybe rook e two or ninety two. Ninety two. Ninety four. Rook d four. I didn't see rook d four. Okay, rook e two. Some kind of random play actually, but what to do? Queen d6, okay, g3, queen d5. Okay, this is a mistake from his part. Okay, I just need to play quickly. under the pawn, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, so that was quite a tense game. Okay, let's see. Challenges. Um, Aaron Bird. <laughs> Now the high time for the Scandinavian in D8. Yeah, G3 is obviously, uh, yeah, a decent sideline. And now I wonder whether to play in C6 or C6, in C6 maybe. It looks like more. Okay, H3. What do I wanna do here is um, the question. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I will go h5. And then I will get g4 and g3. Bishop 5, 7. Okay, maybe b6 so that I can move my knight later. Okay, bishop h6. Yeah, I really want to move my knight somewhere and play c5, but I will just play rook f8. So that, so that after if I have four, I may have e4. But I'm not sure if it's 
Wie ist das so gut? Ja, ich sehe es auch schon. Ja, now I, it feels like I have just more space for free. Which is always an achievement with bug. 94 is kind of unpleasant because after tech stacks, there is uh, no good retro for them for his night. And I was threatening, I think, should be free also with the idea of night free. Maybe he's not afraid. Rp2. Rp2 looks. Rp2. It's interesting, but now his night is stuck. And there is also no Ruby one trade, so. I will go C5, I think, 95. Before, obviously. B97, trying to get some attack with G5. H4. Okay, this is a trap. I'm sure this is a trap, obviously, but. Okay, let's play like this. I want to have some Bishop G4 idea. Yeah, Bishop G4 is a serious threat, I think. Maybe not serious because there is Queen A8, or Queen B7, but. Yeah, looks very. Very nice for me. Yeah, Queen B7 is spoiling the fun. Yeah, Bishop E4 is now a good move for him, I think. Maybe I can just take on E4 with Bishop and then play. Okay, this is not working at all because Rook D2, Rook D1. Rook d2 is forced, then bishop d3, knight d2, and I, yeah, and I would go g4 so that his knight uh, can move. All right, so. All right, serious lama. <laughs> yeah, okay, I will make a Prim point f6, g6. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if it's called the London actually. Or is it some hybrid of it? But yeah, maybe b6 was premature because he played c4 in one go. Usually they. Um, Play C3. Yeah, what to do now? Okay, I will play C5 and after D5, B5 is the idea. And it's a three, obviously, is the move, but now before it might be it's six, but the six is met with bishop d6, so that's the problem. Okay, knight d4. Yeah, knight d4 is obviously sensible, so that his uh, pawn b2 is not hanging, but the knight is out of play now, so and I have many ideas like knight d7, knight d6. So, Improve my position. Yeah, I think maybe six is very strong here because I'm getting access to his queen side, and also there will be very unpleasant ninety four ninety three idea. Which... Yeah, the problem with uh, 
the problem with the setup or why this is Bishop on h2 is like irrelevant in this game. Now I want to play bishop c8, bishop c8, bishop d3. Okay, so I will go knight d4. Yeah, bishop on h2 is terrible. We need to be very careful with white not to, not to allow such scenario as in this game because it's, it feels like he's just a piece down. Bishop C8, I guess. And obviously, I have a pleasant choice between Bishop F5 and Bishop G7. I will go for the later. Oh, I think I'm just winning the exchange now. Right. Yeah, okay, rook b2 makes some sense to get the dark square bishop, but still it's obviously not working because I can always play f6 and uh, there are no threats against my king. So I'm basically winning. Okay, queen d3, I didn't see. Well, obviously I can play like Bishop takes a4, rook b2, knight takes d5, or you can maybe start with knight takes a2. Bishop f5 is obviously the move as well. Maybe you maybe you will take with the queen on a4. Okay, queen takes a2. Okay, if I force game over. <clears throat> Obviously I have 91 bishop a4, but oh maybe it's even better to have a4 than bishop a4. Obviously, bishop f5 was winning as well. Okay, I will go for the fancy way. It takes b3. There is no stopping the a pawn. That was again the nice game. Okay, now super attack. <laughs> Six. Yeah, G3 is obviously a very, very, very solid way to play with white. I will go for the double Yanketta. Four is the move. Yeah, here I think there is some F5 move, but I don't really fancy it, so I will play D6, D7. Or maybe it's even better to play knight c6 and knight a5. Okay, maybe I will go for knight c6. Like... Yeah, the idea of playing this setup with black is that they are very flexible and I can like play whatever uh, whatever I want basically because I can play like e5, c5. I don't know, maybe trying to d5 is maybe less like. Uh, as real, but still, still is the idea. And also, b5, f5, like it's very flexible, and there is nothing to attack. Also, so yeah, it's very comfortable for black. Okay, now I expect to have b1, so that ah, okay, look at b1 also makes sense because he he has bishop f1. Yeah, now I wonder what I can play c5, but then d5 
it's like I, I don't like to uh, to close down the center. I'd rather go C C D five or yeah, maybe E six is a move. Okay, we'll go E six. Yeah, D five is surprisingly and difficult to me that I think for white. Okay, now he goes for this. Now C5 might be better uh, version. Yeah, but I think I'm rook eighty eight, rook b four, queen d seven, and then only then c five. Of C5. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I can take on D4 and play Rook C8. Obviously, he wants to play D5. Or maybe I will just go like. Okay, let's play f5. Probably not that good, but it looks like a fun to me. Yeah, another question. I think I will take the roof. Obviously, there is a cool idea for Black to give up the exchange for uh, his light score bishop. D5 is a strange move. I always have a very, very good play on the light scores. Yeah, like in this case, I think. Uh, this position is, I think, very bad for white. Okay, maybe freeze some. Quite a strange way for me. Okay, if you win the seven. One. Okay, we'll go queen d3. Or maybe queen c3, I don't know. Okay, I just have to play because I'm way down the clock. Okay, wait. And now it might be not so clear anymore because I would love to play uh, bishop b7, but it's hard to achieve. Okay, now maybe, yeah, now it's cool. But I may lose on time, so. So he's mm, kind of just one. Oh, that was a great move. Yeah, but still it's, obviously it's lost, but. <laughs> Yeah, so actually I had two good position and I couldn't have decided what way um, or how to play. So yeah, sometimes that's an issue actually. Yeah, okay, so another black, GM and R1. Okay, I'll go for some pairs of himself or modern. No, modern starts with g6 in the first move, so it's not modern, but obviously it may transpose easily. So, okay, if 
five. C4. Yeah, it's some line I don't remember actually the evaluation of it, but for the pure eye, it looks quite nice for black, I think. Okay, so. Yeah, I obviously need to watch out for some g5. It might be very dangerous. But now I think it can be just met with e6 by e6. So, or even queen c3, bishop takes f7, rook takes f7. So, yeah, I'm not that much afraid of it. Obviously, queen d2 looks like the move here. I can then perhaps trade everything, but I don't see the reason to. Um, Maybe bishop f5, no, bishop f5 looks like. Okay, it's a move with it, right? And it's developing at the same time, so it must be good. Next, I will go, I think, to ACI, and then there will be some issues with the c4 bishop as well. Yeah, I think we should be free. Looks sensible here. Okay, he goes wild. You can always um, exchange queens, which is the idea, but I think I will go with six. But after is six, it must be calculated. Uh, queen h4 must be calculated as well as some more of f5 sacrifices. So I'm not sure of it. <laughs> okay, maybe I will trade queens. Mostly he has queen h4, but then h6. Okay, now there is a threat uh, to take on f7 twice and then g4, followed by g4, so I will go e6. Yeah, it feels quite comfortable for black because his pieces are a bit weird, a bit weird. Especially bishop on c4 and like uh, rooks on one and e1. He will soon have uh, issues with with his center. Mainly, obviously, the c2 pawn. Rook a c8 allows c4 and then knight a5 and he has to play c5 because uh, there would be a threat of bishop d3. Well, obviously, nice move to, uh, to play is b5 here, but it's also kind of not threatening anything. So, yeah, he okay, h3 is obviously an, an idea to uh, cut the bishop. I'm not fretting at all because I can play knight a5 and then take on b3 on c2. I can obviously also play h6. After h6, there is g4, but it's not working, I think. So, yeah, I will go h6. Okay, knight a5. Yeah, rook f2 looks like. Okay, rook c1 is also the move, but it's kind of ugly. It obviously makes sense because once I take on b3, then uh, his, rook, his rook would be into play. So I wonder if I want to, uh, if I want to take, I think it's, I think I can postpone it because there is no way 
for him to um, avoid this. Okay, now he wants to play c4. So I need to be a bit careful. Okay, I think I will go like this. Bishop c2, it's fam the famous idea, obviously, from the uh, Karpov and Sikor game. Yeah, now I improved my bishop and he, I think, lost the time because I assume he will play rooks, uh, dd1. Uh, we have one, okay. Okay, we go with C3. Okay, Bishop F8 is the move which tempts me a lot. But I think it's Still, maybe not necessary because there were some should be five ideas as well. So I will just improve my queen side a5, b5, a4, creating a uh, second weakness. Okay, rook e2, I assume, is the move here because there might be an idea of bishop d2, but it's not that threatening actually. So, yeah, this is also uh, a move. Okay, we just play king h7, g5, and g4, g5. And I have one. This I didn't see coming. Okay, now I will play bishop f8. Uh, I did two and I have four. That was not that great by me. Yeah, this I'm still not risking a thing, but. Yeah, part of my advantage is gone. Okay, we'll play like this. D5 is, I think, the move. Yeah, perhaps it was just better to play elsewhere than c6. Yeah, but this rook 2 is the move I don't understand. Okay, we'll play g5, and h5. I don't want to allow this. So I will perhaps play knight bishop e7. And then g5, uh, king g6. Maybe there is no rush with this. So, of course, you can play g4. I forgot about this. After king g6. Bishop d2, what is this? Rook d4, king e3 is met by bishop c5, so I don't see refutation. Okay, he uh, apparently blundered. Okay, we take. Maybe this taking is actually not very sensible. Okay, we just, I just have to play something, bishop d3. Bishop c2, b7 with the threat of uh, bishop c5, but I could have played bishop c5, but this one is also very good for me. Yeah, now bishop c5 is. Okay, king <laughs> Moving the bishop. Oh, I could have played rook c1. <laughs> I didn't see this, but rook g2 is still a threat, so uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, droop or drop, I don't know. Oh, I finally got white. Can't be. Okay, I will go for this. I don't know what's the name of this opening. Some tour record. What? Oh. Yeah, after H4, C5, it's 
I think not that great for him as for me. I won like this uh, with black against Pentala Hare Krishna. So yeah, okay, c6 is a tricky move, I believe. Some ideas queen b6, queen a5. Yeah, no, but this must be good for me because I'm actually too uh, tempy up in the development. Maybe it's not that terrible for him, but okay, three looks natural. Yeah, g6. Maybe h4, h5 looks cool, but after h4, h5, I don't know what to do. Okay, I will just go c4. Such uh, positions are considered to be better for white with bishop on f4. So yeah, now bishop f7, what is this? Okay, there is a g5, king g8, let's say 96, queen b6. I don't see anything in particular. I can also start with knight g5. Then castle. Okay, we'll go h4. h4 and after h5, knight uh, g5. Okay, this is risky for him. It should be just bad. Okay, c5 is obviously the logical move to get some counterplay. Yeah, maybe there is, uh, I think there is no reason to hurry with h takes g6 because uh, you can also play h6 at times. Yeah, but now I need to find some move, some good move. Uh, okay, I will just play rook c1, c takes, e takes. And there will be some h6 ideas. Yeah, but I need to play faster because I'm expanding ages for. Yeah, this might be very uh, hard to cope with for him, but okay, there is some knight e4. Knight e4. Um, yeah, I thought about bishop takes g7, I uh, takes d2, bishop e5. And apparently, there is no. Uh, defense in, uh, but I think there is knight f3 and check and then queen a5 check. Okay, this is just losing to rook takes h5 and queen g5. Okay, bishop g4 makes some sense, but I think I would just. Okay, this might be. This must be. Checkmate. Or at least I can get the bishop on g4 for free, so. Okay, I will be pragmatic this time. Yeah. G Marion. Okay, now it's high time for the Sicilian. Let's play the time on off. Okay, c3, d5. It's okay, it's uh, transposition to the uh, Lapin sideline. When black is, when black uh, play d6, so. Yeah, but I, I've played like this in normal games, so uh, not that much afraid of it. Okay, C takes the four. Yeah, it's a standard uh, Israeli position. Black obviously isn't better here, but Usually players with uh, the black pieces are happy to get the position against uh, the Isolani. Mm. 
because here it's not the most challenging version of it for white. Because usually white has like the bishop on d3 and uh, black has knight on d5, which is, which is kind of, uh, which is uh, maybe beautiful, but not really that great. And uh, black often plays knight f6 himself. Okay, rook d8. Rook f1. <clears throat> B6, so this looks like the move. Yeah, I will go B6. I need to watch out for some ld 5 ideas, but it, I think it's nothing. I can just play queen d7. Yeah, I was wondering what to do after uh, he plays ID5, but then I. Uh, have just taken d4, I think. Okay, now I have a, I have a simplifying g4, which obviously is good for me, but yeah, I think I will go for it. Unless there is something better, but I don't see anything better in particular. So yeah, I won't, yeah, what about knight takes d4, queen takes d4, queen takes d4, rook takes d4, rook takes, yeah, rook takes d4 is there. The ref uh, refutation, I think. Okay, we'll go h6, but h6 takes, knight takes e7, knight b5 is unpleasant. Okay, I will just take simple chess and knight f6. Perhaps there was something better for me, but I couldn't calculate. Yeah, now it's much more comfortable for black than it was before because I have just more space for my pieces and I can play like maybe seven, eight, eight, five. And maybe I will go to, to B8 so that I have still some threads on the diagonal. Yeah, 95 is obviously the move, but I can just go A6 and Yeah, I think it's nothing serious for for me. B5. Yeah, it's obviously killing the uh, c5 square, but I think he can't really use it. So maybe now I will go queen a7 to to provoke. Um, yeah, to force him to take on c6. Actually, he can play knight uh, bishop f3, but then knight a5. Or something. Yeah, okay. Okay, I need to play faster. Okay, 97, maybe. Yeah, it's comfortable for black, but when it's obviously much in the game, so. Queen of three, I believe. Well, I see five is working. No, not really. Let's see five knight. But knight might be might be working. Okay, we'll take with the rook. Queen d5 maybe, queen d7. Okay, let's play h6. Yeah, queen d5 was a move. Yeah, h3, I believe, no? c7. Just to make life simpler. Uh, Blunder, uh, rook g8. Okay, I will remove my king from some checks. Oh, I lost some time. That's no, I won't. Why? 
Why is Okay, it doesn't really matter. Let's see. Okay, now I replay. It's a five minutes game. Doctor Four can. Now it's high time to go for A4. Yeah, and obviously can kind of suggested the opening he, he would choose. I wonder. Okay, now Bishop F5. It will be see the mine more was breaking maybe three side line. I used to play it a lot and have good results with it, but obviously when black knows what to do, it's not that great for white. Yeah, but now I'm not sure this particular move order. Let's go H4. Yeah, I think by now we are just creating the fury. I didn't see bishop before check, but I think I could have just played bishop d2 without any consequences. Now I think I will take bishop. Ah, oh, this is a strategical mistake. Queen a5. Queen a5 will much better, I think. No, okay, I will go. I will play bishop c4. Now I'm much uh, superior now with two bishops. And also with the better development. Okay, I will go king of one. Obviously, queen e2 was much better than win, but I want to checkmate him not to win a, a, a long game in the end game. Okay, queen d3, rook e1, that's the idea. And also, my pawn h5 is a very huge asset for me, I believe, because. Um, should be five, maybe it's unpleasant. Yeah, because it's like the rook on h1 is almost in the play without making a single move. So yeah, and h6 or h6 is very unpleasant. And now the idea is that after the castle I can play queen g3 and he's getting checkmated. So now there is, I mean, no good move for him. I guess he will play some f6 or something, but it's very ugly move. And after bishop f4, I'm, I'm winning. There is also, uh, okay, this is very bad because of h6. Well, there is also a very cool idea when uh, in the variation when he, uh, when he makes a castle. Uh, no, considering I don't have queen g3, I would play h6, g6, queen g3 with the threat and queen takes g6 with, ch with check, h takes g g6 and h7 checkmate. Yeah, and now I'm, okay, queen g3, rook h7 is game over, but I wonder whether I can uh, start with rook h7. Yeah, but there is no reason to start it with rook h7 whatsoever, so yeah, it's just game over. Yeah, there is nothing he can do. <clears throat> okay, so that was a cool game. Okay, let's play against Aryu, Aryun Kalyan 55. 45. Okay, Italian. Obviously, I'm playing it with white on the regular basis. So I know I think about it a little bit. 
A6 maybe. Oh, it's obviously a very complex opening when white is a bit better maybe because the pawn C3 is like restricting uh, the knight on C6. But obviously it's very, it's all very complicated and um, Now I wonder whether there is knight g4, king h8, f5 idea. I think it's not working. Okay, so I will go for a5. Obviously, he has, uh, he may play uh, bishop g5, which is a very dangerous idea. But okay, he didn't uh, choose this option. Yeah, I wonder what's wrong with knight g4 here. It looks like a good version, but as said, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really playing this with black. So also after knight g4, rook e2, king h8, h3, I can just play knight h6. I don't have to go for f5. But obviously everyone wants to play f5 because it's such a cool move. Yeah, and now it's, yeah, f5 takes, takes knight h2, knight e1, maybe g3. Yeah, I get something, but I'm not sure if it's enough. But okay, I, I'll give it a try. So we'll see whether it's uh, whether it's good for black or just very bad. Anyone is a strange move. I guess the idea is to, uh, after knight takes f2, to have the rook protected, but still I can play like knight f6 here. And it looks like black is just better. Yeah, now I have many ideas. Uh, for example, to play knight h5 with the threats of knight g3 and knight f4. Uh, obviously, I can uh, in some uh, in some moments take on e4 and then perhaps sacrifice the exchange on the three, considering that there is no knight on d2, obviously. And obviously, there is uh, also the plan of playing f4 and then some slow roll with g5, g4 in uh, in the king's Indian style. But here, back uh, back has the bishop on c5, so. It looks like a much better version for him. Yeah, now I wonder. F4 looks like a good move, but... Yeah, taking on E4 is also very seductive, but I, okay, I will go for F4. Now with the Knight of F1. Yeah, I guess we'll play D4, but then I can just retreat to somewhere to P6 or S7. Don't see much of a difference, and this shouldn't be good. Also, I can take on d4, and shouldn't be that bad for me. And now I wonder whether to play on e8 or okay, maybe I will go bishop h7 first, and then after d4. Think how to yeah, queen queen e8 runs into some bishop b5, but we should be five. Then I can play queen h5 and I like this. Because of the queen 7 there might be also some b3 and then with the idea of taking on e5 and then bishop a3. Okay, it's still not that serious because I have bishop c5 in response, but yeah, okay, queen e8 was like more challenging. Yeah, and I may have the idea of playing g5 here actually, and after knight g5, queen g6. Yeah, it looks like a very serious idea to me. After d takes e5, I can consider uh, both taking with the knight and with the uh, pawn. Now I will go queen h5. There is, uh, there are many threats of like bishop g4, bishop takes h3, and knight g4 check. In h4 check is maybe not much of a threat now, but still, it can be good. Like after d takes e5, for example. 
Okay, queen d3, and now it's high time for g5, I believe. Still, it's obviously not yet a game over, but because uh, I don't have access to the g8 square for the rook, and that kind of sucks, but. After king g1, I wanted to, okay, I thought about taking on h3, but the problem with this is that uh, taking back on h3, queen takes h3, there is 95 trick. Yeah, and then busted properly. Yeah, so obviously I won't take. Okay, and h1 is a poor move for sure. Now I can just take on d4, which was very strong as well because I get access to the e5 square. Obviously I can play like, G4, but I think it's it makes sense. And now, which way to recapture this? Knight D4, Rook D2, Knight G4, checking H1, Knight D5, Queen C3, it's F3 maybe. Yeah, but but also think with uh, Bishop on D4, it's very appealing to me because I can play Bishop E5 and then. Yeah, and bishop e5 is very strong, actually. Obviously, it blocks the square for the knight, but still. Also, there are no... Uh, there are no uh, checks. Okay, now g4 looks like the move. Bishop f4 go. Yeah, my position is so good that it's hard to decide. Maybe knight d7 is a nice move and knight e5. Improving the knight and now the rook on the bait is also uh, like fretting f3. It's not blocked anymore. And this looks like a disaster for him, frankly speaking. After bishop c6, I can take on g1 and I can also take on c6. I don't see what's wrong with this. I can also take on f3. <clears throat> g3 is a free, or would it too? Yeah, g3 is a free, I think I will go for it. Now oh, he's obviously completely busted, now. but uh, with five more pieces on the uh, first and second round, kind of no surprising. Okay, so that was quite a nice win for me. I uh, I got some experience with this position from the uh, Black's point of view. Now I will play against Samicella. Okay, there is Karokan left, which I. Uh, I hadn't played. Yeah, okay. Then four. Okay, let's see six. Okay, push it four. So it's kind of London. The London. Uh, yeah, but. But I mean, okay, I, there are many move orders and uh, subtitles. So uh, C3 is um, tricky because he wants to play queen b3. Yeah, and I wonder how to react to this actually. Because this is queen b3 might be very bad for me because there will be knight e5 coming. After knight f6, queen b3, knight a5, queen a4 check, bishop d7, queen c2, or something like this. Or there was a famous game, bishop Petrosian. Okay, I will go queen d7. Yeah, but obviously I forgot about bishop b5, so it's kind of, yeah, but okay, bishop e2 is not that much challenging. Yeah, but obviously it's fine for white. I don't want to part with my bishop, so I play bishop f5. 
Okay, now it's four is the move, but after now it's four, I, uh, I have bishop four, and then there's the position gets tricky for him. I mean, for uh, for his knight h4. Okay, I will go f6 with the idea of g5 h5. It might be not that great in terms of computer evaluation, but in terms of practical play, I think it's very much sensible. G5 H5. Obviously, he should play. I mean, try to get counter play via C4. Uh, but actually, it's uh, easier said than done because his pawn on D4 is very weak in that case, and um, it might be not so easy to achieve this. Uh, Good reduction. Okay, now I'll go a6. It's a bit tiny to be honest, but at least I get his light square bishop when he takes on c6 and shows I'm like slowing down his counterplay. Okay, maybe three with looks. Quite slow. We will go ninety seven, ninety six. I like ninety seven, ninety six, and then G four is uh, comfortable version for black because he doesn't have uh, to think about the H four anymore. Obviously, I don't have to play like aggressively because my position is very good in terms of uh, strategical play. So, no, but queen d2 is just a blunder, I think, because I don't see a retro square for his knight after g4. Yeah, no, he seems to be completely busted. Yeah, queen d2 actually uh, took away his only retreat square from the knight, so it was very unfortunate, unfortunate uh, move. Yeah, trying to get counterplay makes sense, but actually he doesn't get it, so. Um, after bishop e6, there is rook takes e6, so that's a shocker. The shocker is actually I can miss such a move, but then still I have 95, so I am like the rook up. But perhaps it's even simpler to avoid this and play king f7. I will go for king f7. Because why to calculate some lines when I don't have to? Okay, g3 is kind of panic move. Okay, now it's game over, obviously. Check. Okay, bishop f4. It looks, looks like too cool to. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. That's been uh, fun, and I hope I uh, will stream a little bit more than I'm than i do and yeah thank you thank you for thank you for your time for the attention and see you